All right. Instead of making a how to install, how to remove U joints from a 75 Corvette, uh, there's plenty of videos out there how to do that. Plenty of different methods, right, wrong, or indifferent. I think every car is pretty much going to make its own choice on which way you need to go with it. But uh, here's what happened with my 75 Corvette. About three years ago, we put in a Moog 231 U joints. That's these guys right here. That's what Advance said was supposed to go into it. They were cheap enough, so went ahead and put them in. They were bared again and really tight when we tried to get them in. Uh, this is one of my old flanges here, just for example. Uh, it was so tight that basically what happened is the flange ended up compressing. I've since found that there is a tool, special tool of course, which is basically just a steel plate that you bolt onto the back of this flange here and that'll help keep it straight so it doesn't compress inward but that being said I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not but there's real skinny scallop here in this flange on both sides and that's a weak spot so pretty much if you've got to be a bear and apply brute force to it you got a good possibility of collapsing these flanges um, just beware of it. Have a good measurement tool so you can measure before. And then if it starts getting tight and the U-joint will not rotate in it, then just realize you may be collapsing stuff. But that being said, there's something special I've found out about these U-joints being produ produced today. The Moog 231 is supposed to come out of the box at 3.625 inches Let me get over here let's see if i can get you one shot of this you can freeze the screen play back and read it yourself once i get done narrating here there you go so the motor 231s when i measured them came out at 3.63 inches they're supposed to be 3.625. That five thousandths of an inch difference is going to make all the difference in the world when you have thousandths of an inch tolerance here. Um, some people say that, you know, you can shave down the retaining clips. Uh, I found my clip widths were at 58 thousandths, 0 .058 of an inch. Uh, so, yeah, you, you could shave five thousandths off of that with a file and some sandpaper and a little bit of elbow grease. But my measurements, contradictory to what Chevy says and to what all the parts stores say, were 3.622 inches on my aft shafts. So, I'm not sure what's going on, whether it's just my old 75 Corvette is measuring it at 3.622 on the half shafts uh, or whether they've been compressed exactly three thousandths of an inch from 3.625 on all four of the holes on both of my half shafts um, but the new flanges that I ordered from zip I'll put the link below came in at 3.622 inches also so from inside clip ring to inside clip ring on both my half shafts and the flanges we're measuring in at 3.622 inches. Therefore, when you go to the parts store and you see U-joints that measure at 3.625 inches, you're going to be three thousandths of an inch too fat on the U-joints, left to right, both axes, before you even start. You're going to be fighting it before you even go there. Um. So what I did was I... Ended up ordering the Spicer 1530X, uh, which was from Summit Racing. And that was supposed to come in at 3.625, but I read that other people used them, they fit. So I figured, well, let me go ahead and see. They, had, they come with different clip sizes, different clip thicknesses. Got them here. Believe this, people. That Spicer... 51350X 
came out of the box at 3.750 inches axis to axis length. That is a far cry away from 3.625. Um, you can do some math, but basically it, it's too much. Even if you were to remove the clips, shave them down to nothing, the thing still wouldn't fit in there. Um, don't know what's going on with the Spicer product, the 5-1350X, but I also went to O'Reilly's the next day, pulled a couple of theirs out. They both came out of the box at 3.750 inches as well. So I'd say stay away from them for right now. Even though they're supposed to fit, they're supposed to be 3.625, which again, I measure at 3.622. They're not coming out of the box right. That being said, went to Advanced, O'Reilly's, and Napa. Uh, hopefully the screen's been on this the whole time. And physically measured every U-joint they had in there that they said would work for my 75 Corvette. Thankfully, all of them were nice enough to pull the product and let me measure and be a pain in the butt. I appreciate all three of them. Didn't go to AutoZone because I don't care for the people at AutoZone and I spend too much money to have to deal with a blanky blank. In other words, ended up the Spicer 5-178X is labeled 3.622 inches and out of the box it measures 3.622 inches. It is a uh, greasable fitting, and O'Reilly's has them at $30.99 each. Now, where you go is where you go, but as much money as these things cost, I try to save a penny wherever I can. Summit Racing, same U-joint, Spicer 5-178X, $15.99 each. After shipping, tax, all that involved, 82 bucks. Now, O'Reilly here has the Master Pro 331. It measures in at 3.621 inches on the axis. It's $17.99. That may be a good option for you also. I chose not to go with that because I wanted to try to get a U-joint that was 3.622, which is what my half shafts and flanges measured. So I want a U-joint that measured that exact same down to the thousandth myself. Uh, so there you go. Uh, basically, when you start playing with your U-joints, if you start cranking down on it and it gets tight, where when the U-joint is in the flange, it doesn't want to turn, or whether it's in the half shaft and it doesn't want to turn. If it doesn't want to turn, you're too tight. You got the wrong U-joint your half shaft and or flange, whichever ones you're working on are compressed, or you're going to have to shave just a hair, thousandth, two thousandths of an inch off of the retaining clips. If you do have to shave, I'd recommend splitting the distance that you have to go. Like if you have two thousandths you need to come out, do a thousandths on each one of the clips on opposing sides. Uh, that way your U-joint won't be a thousandth off over here to the right or a thousandth off to the left it'll be a thousandth off on both sides so therefore centered up again but uh i'll leave the link below for the zip flanges that i used uh, you can get them from ecklers and volvet whoever else you prefer to it's just the ones that i did and uh again everything for me measured 3.622 inches chevy says 3.625 uh best of luck hopefully this will help somebody else it's been a uh, about a month trying to figure this out here have fun.